everyone. I hope y'all are having a great day. Today I'm going to be reviewing Just One Day by Gail Foreman. This is actually my very first video review on this channel, so how exciting! Let's get started. If we're being honest, if this book wasn't written by Gail Foreman, I probably wouldn't have even picked it up. But it is written by Gail Foreman, and Gail Foreman wrote If I Say and Where She Went, two of my favorite books, so I had to pick this one up. And at first, I wasn't really impressed. So basically, if you don't know, Just One Day is about a girl named Allison Healy. This is the summer before she goes off to college and she's in Europe with a tourist group, kind of. She's also with her best friend named Melanie. And basically, Allison has been molded into what she's known as a good girl. She doesn't step out of line. She doesn't do anything particularly crazy. She just is good. But that kind of changes when she meets a boy named Willem. Is it Willem? I don't know, is that how you pronounce it? I'm just gonna go with that anyway. Who suggests that she ditch her tourist group to see his underground performance of The Twelfth Night? Basically, with Melanie's prodding, Allison's just like, all right, let's go. So she does her first kind of bad thing and it thrills her. This is the beginning of her transformation. Then the next day she meets Willem again on a train, I think, and Willem suggests that they spend a day at Paris. And Allison, on this high of being this new, spectacular, spontaneous kind of person, who is called Lulu later on, she says, yeah, all right, let's go on this trip with a boy I just met, sounds good. So they go to Paris and they have this one day filled with adventure and romance and everything spectacular. And this opens up Allison's eyes to a kind of person she's never known. She becomes a girl named Lulu, who seems to be everything Allison actually wants to be. They spend the night together and in the morning, Willem is gone. And the rest of the novel is kind of how she deals with that and how that has affected her and how it's changed her as a person. So basically Allison goes back to America and she's starting her freshman year that her mom just packed with all these pre-med requisites. And with Willem leaving her that morning, she's changed. She kind of falls into this depression and it lasts a few months. I'd like to say she kind of pulls a Bella from New Moon. She neglects her schoolwork, she detaches herself from her family, she doesn't socialize with her new roommates or anyone at all for that matter, and she just kind of crawls into herself. And during this period of Allison's life, it's really, really easy to be extremely frustrated with her. You kind of just want to grab her, shake her shoulders, scream at her a little, be like, Get your life together, get out of this teenage angst coma you're in. So for this section, it's kind of frustrating, but you just have to bear through it because it gets way better. Allison starts taking new classes and she meets a new friend named Dee, and basically she begins to grow into the better, stronger version of herself that she wants to be. She's still really figuring out who she is and who she wants to be and how she can get there. It's like coming of age, really. It's her story of how she's growing up. And even though at first Allison was an extremely dull and slightly unlikable character, she turns into such an amazing character with strength and determination and drive. And from there, the whole book gets a billion times better. The plot picks up, things get extremely interesting, and then when she decides to go back to Paris to get answers, the book takes this huge turn. In Paris, Gail Foreman kind of likes to play this game of cat and mouse, where all her readers are the mice, and she likes to build up all this hope, and then she tears it down, stomps on it, eats it, like, yeah, and it happens several times. But the book turns exciting and riveting and engaging, and you just can't tear your hands away from the pages. The lesson is not to doubt Gail Foreman because even though it wasn't that great in the beginning, as the book progressed, it turned into a fantastic novel. Watching Allison grow into the person she wants to be is a gorgeous process. And being with her through the steps that she takes is really, really moving and endearing and beautiful. Oh my god, the end! How could Gail Foreman end it there? I kind of want a physical copy of this book just so I can hurl it across the room because, oh my god, that ending! It's just, ugh, why? Why? And then Gail Foreman has the gall to add one page 
of the next book, which is in Willem's point of view, and all it does is raise more questions and drive me more insane. It's ridiculous. I think I'm just gonna go sit in the corner and cry until the sequel comes out. All in all, Just One Day is a beautiful, gorgeous journey of one girl who's broken down and she's learning to piece herself together into a better, stronger version of herself. Just One Day is moving and emotional and beautiful. And come on, it's by Gail Foreman. And I give this book two thumbs up. It is such a fantastic read. I highly recommend it, even if you haven't read her previous books. She has a brilliant way of incorporating such flawed characters into this amazing, thoughtful book that you can't help but love. This book was so so good, even though I didn't think so in the beginning. So yeah, Just One Day was an amazing book, loved it so, so much. If you've read it, please, please leave a comment because I would love to hear what you thought. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up or maybe click the subscribe or check out my blog because I do have a written review up on there and it's probably way more coherent than this video because emotions. This is my very first video review, so I'm very sorry if it's pretty bad. I'm learning. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and happy reading. Bye.